<laughs> okay. It's time for a video no one asked for. E-girl transformation. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jit Marak and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a makeup book thing video. I've been seeing this e-girl makeup style thing going around. I know that it comes from TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. I don't really know anything about the e-girl lifestyle. <laughs> All I've seen is the makeup and it looks really cute and I thought to myself, I want to try to do that. I just, I want to try and do that to my face. I also thought this would be a fun way to tell you guys what I'm currently reading because I've been reading a lot of ebooks. That is how I'm consuming most of my books currently. So that is why this video is e-girl talks ebooks because that's my plan. <laughs> what I gather from this style is that it's sort of dark and emo with like a lot of blush so it's kind of emo and cute and there's like hair clips and pigtails. I usually like to start with my eyebrows so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna use a pencil. So just a regular eyebrow pencil and I'm just gonna do my regular eyebrows. I've seen them be like straight but my eyebrows can't do that, so... So, ebooks. I have a new appreciation for ebooks lately. I think there are some various reasons why. One is because they are really easy to access. I can just download the app and get them from my library. And I can just have them on my phone, which is just so much easier. Also, I've been reading a lot of books for class and it's just a thousand times more helpful to me to have an ebook because I can highlight things really easily, I can find quotes really fast, and it's just way better for me than having like a physical copy of a book. Next, I'm gonna go over what I just did with this little brow bar. It's like a tiny mascara but for your eyebrows basically. So what the first book that I read this year was a novella called A Little Light Mischief by Cat Sebastian. It was a sapphic historical romance. That was the first thing that I read. Our, our two main characters are Molly and Alice. Molly is a lady's maid and then Alice is the lady. Alice got kicked out from her house because of this guy that made up all these rumors about her and harassed her. And the two of them make up a plan to con him because Alice has no money, her family left her, and so they're going to con him to try to get some money and like live their best life and that's basically the plot of the novella it was really sweet and cute and also just really heartwarming and i really enjoyed it of course it was short because it's a novella but i think that it stands well on its own even though it's quite short and things move fast i'm gonna go over my eyebrows again just one last time one last time i'm gonna teach you how to say goodbye say goodbye you know what I just realized? I don't have any of my brushes with me. So now I'm gonna use this tiny brush to clean up my eyebrows because they're definitely a little messy. And use my foundation. Good enough. I don't know what to do next. I'm gonna do foundation all over my face and I'm gonna use a little beauty blender to blend it. I feel so professional right now. Am I a real YouTuber now? So for class, I'm reading quite a lot of things, but I'm gonna tell you about two books that I'm currently reading that I'm really enjoying. They are both retellings of the Iliad. The first one is The Song of Achilles by Madison Miller, and the other one is The Silence of the Girls by P Pat Barker. If you haven't read the Iliad, I haven't either. It follows the events of the Trojan Wars and the main character is Achilles who is a demigod and he's supposed to be the greatest warrior of his generation. In the Iliad, he has a best friend, best bro, his right hand man, Patroclus, Patroclus, one of those. And in the Song of Achilles, we follow his perspective. I know the Iliad follows Achilles when he's already an adult and he's already fighting in the war. In the Song of Achilles, he we meet both of them when they're young and we see them develop a friendship and eventually they fall for each other so there is a romance as well. Sorry, I've been hitting that and making a weird sound. I'm not sure if in the Iliad they also have a relationship, I don't think so. It might be coded but their romance is definitely important in the Song of Achilles and it's, yeah, it's one of the 
main parts of the novel. I'm gonna go ahead and do some concealing with this Milani concealer and perfect i just started using this and i love it aside from the romance there's also themes about destiny and fate there's a whole prophecy surrounding achilles and what's going to happen to him as well as themes of war of course and the realities of war and why men go to war i say honor or pride is there all of the above or something else i am about like 70 percent in so i'm i'm closer to being done and i've been really really enjoying it i've been definitely captivated by miller's gift for storytelling i think her writing is really really wonderful all right finally done with the boring face part jesus so from the pictures that i've seen of the e-girl look they use a lot of pink and like red and stuff i have this palette right here and it has like reds and browns and pinks so I'm gonna be using this one. So I'm gonna use this fluffy, 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 fluffy brush to, to put this peachy color right here all over my eyelid. Here we go, here we go. Why am I making that face? I did it again. Don't do it. Just don't do it. That's kind of pretty. I like this color. Now I am going to go over what I just did with some red and i'm gonna focus on the outer corner of my eye listen i'm trying to pretend i know what i'm doing and what i'm talking about but i don't all right <clears throat> so with the silence of the girls i'm really really early on i've only read like four chapters but it follows a whole new perspective it's still the retelling of the iliad it follows the perspective of brisees who is a trojan woman i believe she's a queen and she is taken as a slave and gifted to Achilles in the original poem. And that is also what happens in this version of the retelling. So at the very beginning of The Signs of the Girls, we see what happens when she is taken. In the Iliad, the women are minor characters and you don't get to see their perspective. So that is what Barker is exploring in this novel. This retelling as well is supposed to be way darker and way more explicit. So our professor gave us some content warnings surrounding rape and sexual violence and assault which Miller also talks about in the song of Achilles but just based on the couple of chapters that I've read from the signs of the girls it's a lot more explicit in this version so from the pictures that I've seen the blush goes literally everywhere that's that's what I'm gonna do I honestly feel like the blush that I use isn't really dark enough or yeah so I'm gonna go with some red lipstick and see how that works out just gonna blend that with my fingers as much as i can and then i'm gonna go over with powder all right it's time one thing that i'll say about reading the song of achilles and then the silence of the girls back to back is that it's really jarring because you're following the same characters they're like so different that it's very like it gives me slight whiplash but I think that it's always interesting to hear the same story from a new perspective, which inevitably makes it a different story. Honestly, while I was reading the Song of Achilles, I kept wondering, like, I wonder what the Trojans are thinking while all of, all of this is happening. I feel like it's not enough blush, man. <laughs> all right. Just gonna add a little bit more of this because... I look like that girl from Wreck-It Ralph, Vanellope. <laughs> I can't see, I told you. I think on camera it looks slightly like I'm, I'm not wearing that much blush, but I, I'm wearing a lot. I feel like you can't tell because I have a light and it's like making my face really bright. So what I'm gonna do next is do the eyeliner, just a really thick wing eyeliner. I'm using this Revlon one that is running out, but we're gonna make it work because we have to. I can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time, so I need complete quiet. That actually doesn't look bad. Oh, I don't know if I can repeat it. Oh. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and do mascara next. I have some lashes. 
but I'm really bad at putting lashes on so I'm scared of doing it on camera because I can't do it by myself when I'm not on camera uh, the pressure of the cameras mm. there are these ones from wet and wild I'm gonna try it <laughs> I forgot to talk about books so I've been kind of reading this book for myself like I said I've been reading a lot of things for school but I randomly picked up this book and I'm so early on that I, that I feel like I can't really talk about it because I just started it. But it's called A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. All I know is that it follows a group of friends living in New York City and one of them is ill and that is literally all I know and I know that it's made lots and lots of people cry and your girl loves to cry. <laughs> And so I was like, okay, let me pick it up. But hopefully once I get through some of my school books, I can like actually give it proper attention. I don't even know if these things fit my eye. I don't know how to do this. Why am I doing this? I'm gonna mess this up and everyone's gonna see. Let me know if you read A Little Life. I feel like I've seen a couple of people read it. Let me know what you thought of it. Is that good? It's like not anywhere near my eye, like eyelash. Mm. <laughs> I can't do this. I give up. I can't. I hate this. So we're going with no freaking eyelashes. So I have to do my eyeliner again now. <laughs> the totally cool part is that I got eyeliner all over my eyelid. Okay, now I'm gonna add some more blush. I am gonna use some highlighter and just put that all over my cheeks and like in the inner corner of my eye. So for the lips, from what I've seen, it's like pretty natural like a pink or a gloss so i'm just gonna use this glossy chapstick i have i feel like i don't look e-girl enough i feel like this just looks like regular makeup i'm gonna do the iconic e-girl hair put my hair into pigtails oh i don't like this actually okay it's kind of cute okay pigtail hair it's kind of a look. It looks kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some little hearts on my face because I've seen that and my camera is about to die. So hopefully it doesn't die anytime soon. I know I said that was gonna be the last step, but I got this guy. A band-aid. I tried to draw a little heart on it. All right. <laughs> also i moved my my lamp back because i realized it was making my face way too bright so hopefully this looks a little bit better i'm sorry about that okay airplane thanks for visiting i don't know if i like this let me put this down here is my final eager look hey honestly it looks really cute and i kind of really like it i know this video was mostly makeup and less books but I'm trying to mix things that I love together, so hopefully you still enjoy this. I kind of really love it. This was really fun, even though I had a hard time, especially with those damn eyelashes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're doing with your life. I don't know. And let me know if you like this sort of video. I would love to do it more often. Other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you later. Bye. E girl, e girl. Ah, I'm gonna have to join TikTok now. It is what it is. <laughs> Bye for real this time. <laughs>